To write the name for Cu2SO4, first we need to recognize this SO4 here. This is the sulfate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. So we have the sulfate ion, and it's bonded to two copper atoms. Copper is a transition metal. So we have the metal and this group of nonmetals. This is a ionic compound, and we can use these rules to name Cu2SO4. So let's first start by writing the name of the metal. Cu is copper, and then SO4, one to remember, is the sulfate ion, lowercase s. And at this point, Cu2SO4, the name we have is copper sulfate. But we said that copper is a transition metal, and that means it can have a different ionic charge depending on what it's bonded to. So here are these two copper atoms, they're bonded to the sulfate ion. The whole thing, the whole sulfate ion is two minus. So the copper, we need to have a charge of two plus over here to balance this out. So we have two times one plus, that would give us two plus, the charge would balance out. So the charge on each one of these copper atoms is one plus. We need to show that in the name for Cu2SO4. So we put a one, Roman numeral one, parentheses around it. And the name for Cu2SO4 is copper one sulfate. If you were given this name here and asked to write the formula, you'd know that each copper is gonna have an ionic charge of one plus because of this one here. And then you know the sulfate, the whole thing is two minus. You'll need two of these one plus copper atoms for the whole one sulfate ion. This is Dr. B with the name for Cu2SO4. Thanks for watching.